we're going to do first order bend, right? Another name for first order bend is called an in out. And um, the ply that you need is this plier, which is funny enough called your in out plier, also known as a hammerhead plier, obviously because it looks like a little sort of hammerhead shark, right? So if you look at it this way, you can see the sort of, um, maybe you can see the in out. So I can use this in two planes. If I have a case where I'm tending to go to cross bite on one side, um, and this is the way uh, Damon does a lot of his expansion because he doesn't really use expanders. Um, what I can do is if my cross bite starts in the region of my three, I can mark a line between the three and the um, two, and then I can do an offset like that. You understand? Then all those teeth are going to want to cross, get rid of, get out of the cross bite, particularly if I have some resin to open the vertical. Right? Now, I'll just show you that. Thanks. I'll just show you that first bend. If you come in with your hammerhead plier and you press it, it will either do an inset or an offset. So I want an offset. So that would mean I turn the plier this way and I visualize where the plier is bending. And can, am I on screen still? Just tell me if I go off screen. Right. So I just put one bend in there. Can everyone see that one bend? If I put it down flat there. Yep. Yeah. So that is a offset for the transverse. When do you use that? A molar that's rotated. Very nice to derotate the molar. Um, a crossbite tendency. Now, if that doesn't work and you want to do it a little, give it a little bit more oomph, you have two choices. You can waste money and buy the next hammerhead and get a new plier and put in like a two millimeter offset. Or using the same uh, plier, you just put in another offset. Can, can everyone see that? You see that now or no? That, yeah. right. Is that better? Yes, no? Okay, right. Now, the I can also use this for vertical changes. Yeah. So let's just say my bracket position is too gingival or too incisal, I don't want to reposition. On TMA, I can use the same wire, but now the wire's like that, yeah? And I can do a step up or a step down. So let's use the same wire. Remember how I came with the plier this way? Now I'm going to come with a plier this way, yeah? And if I press that, can everyone see, there is my vertical bend. So it's very simple, right? And if I turn it the other way and press it down, it's going to give me a step up. So all of a sudden, if I have a shitty bracket position, if I step down and step up, what have I got there? A nice little um, first order bend to move a tooth. See how easy that is? Now, you don't need that plier. You can, of course, do this with your tweed pliers, but then there's a lot more wire bending involved because you've got to put one bend, put another bend, then go put one more bend, and then you're going to introduce unwanted torque. This plier, the wire stays nice and flat. Look at this. It's got an offset horizontally, and it's got vertical offsets, all done with the same plier. That plier is called an in-out plier. Everyone happy with first-order bend? 